It's first things first, you want to go to the first link in the bio and download your media. Then once you're in your media hub, you want to go on installs, then click install editor. And then click on archive, then download archive. And what you want to do is you want to find the same exact one as this. And now that you've got all that set up, just click new project. And then just click three days. And then you can name it whatever you want. And then yeah, just wait for that load. Alright, so once it's finally loaded, what you want to gonna do is you just want to gonna delete this main camera. You do not want the main camera. Then go to edit, project settings. XR plugin management and then just install this. It might take a while. So once it's loaded, just click open XR. Okay, so once it's loaded, just click X on here. Alright, so now that's all loaded, just go to open XR, go to monitor and change this to multipath. And then interaction profiles, just click plus, valve index, oculus touch. So just add these two. Then go to Android, go to this thing, click it and change it to multipath. And then add a oculus touch controller then go to xr plugin management then make sure you're on android then click on oculus and it should load just wait and then once it's loaded click on it go to monitor change it to multipath and then go to android turn this to multipath and tick this then just click x and save and go to window go to package manager and then press plus and press get url and type in Then once that's done downloaded, click on samples and download star assets. But then it might ask you something about like a backup, just click I made a backup, go ahead. Then just X out with this and you can save if you want. Right, so it should put you in the here, just click on that and then what you want to do is you want to go on every single one of these things, not the map, not the map, okay? Just like these ones. Oh yeah, and then what you want to do is you want to actually just click on them and then click this on all of them. Right, so once you've done all that, just go up to Edit, Project Settings, Preset Manager. On this one, Action Based Controller, when it says right, just go right. And when it says left, just go left. Um, I don't know what to do with gaze, just like leave it. So then what you're going to do is you're going to actually go to the second one in the description and then get the Glow Local Motion Movement. Download it. I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded. So once it's downloaded, just go to Assets and then press Import Custom Package. And then find wherever you put it and just import it. And once this shows up, just press All Import. And this will probably pop up, just press Reload. Main camera will reappear, just delete this again. Right, so once that's all happened, uh, you just want to press the plus button, 3D object, cube, and you just want to scale it out to the side of the map. I'm going to make mine like really big. Now you want to create a new folder and then, and then name this materials. You don't have to name it materials, but you know, I just did. Then you want to go create in that folder a material and then any color you want your folder to be. So I'm just going to make mine green. And also make sure you smooth this all the way down. Oh yeah, and to change your color, just click on this and then you know, just change. And then just drag it onto your floor. I'm actually going to make this a little bit darker. And then what you want to do, once you've got your floors, press resources, gorilla prefabs, and get your gorilla rig, and just drag it on there. So you can actually use that to tell how big the map's going to be. So I think I'm going to make mine like that big. Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is the light, don't delete this. But yeah, so now to get walls, you just want to press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and you just want to scale this, and then like scale it up, and make a wall, and then put it to like the side, and then create a new material, and then make it whatever color you want it to be. And also make sure to turn the smoothest down on this one too. Alright, so I'm done with a map. I'm gonna add a mirror now so you can see what we look like. So first thing what you wanna do is you wanna create another cube. And you, and you don't have to do this, I'm just doing this to be organized, but just rename it to frame. And then scale it to the size of what you mirror what of what you want your mirror to be. And then you can just add a texture on it. And then duplicate it and then just size this down a bit. And then just pull it out so it pokes out just a little bit. And then what you wanna do is you actually wanna create a render texture. I'm doing this mirror and then drag that onto your thing and then in this mirror you want to create a camera and then you can just rotate it to wherever it is and then right here where it says target texture just drag the mirror on it and now this is actually upside down don't rotate the camera just rotate this you can just scale it on just like that but yeah so once you've done all that what you want to do to actually play it and like export it you want to go to edit project settings and then you want to go to player make sure it's on android and then you want to scroll down until you find like this so bundle version code just like every time like so if like i made updates like, and i export it again just like, make it to same with this just make it to make sure it's zero point you know until it goes away.
yeah so run out of this and so i'm just gonna keep it over one then you just want to leave these and then go to publishing settings key store manager then type in a password that you'll like remember i'm just gonna put in one i don't know why they do this but so you just want to create a password fill all the password ones in and then yes you can just do like your name so me i'm just gonna put jack and then here you can just put like Jaffa's videos or something, I don't know, just whatever you call yourself. So this is automatically filled in because we just made it, but every time you want to upload it, you'll have to type in these passwords. Make sure you set the least. Then just exit, and then you can save. Then go to build setting. Then click on Android. Then press switch platform. Then once it's actually downloaded, just press add open scenes. Then just change this to ASTC. Leave this on 32 bit. And then run device changes all compatible devices. Or we'll probably download something. Yep, it's downloading. And then once you've done all that, just press build. And then just call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do it. And yeah, then you've just downloaded your build tech family.